Hello everyone, this is Kevin Mange, and this is Kev's TV series. So, in the last video, I touched on Hoenn, and now, I think we're away from the compass, but I think it's all out in the compass with... What I'm getting at here. So, I won't be going like this anymore. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna make myself dizzy. Um, anywho. What I'm trying to reference is, so in the anime, Ash heads back to Kanto after he's done with the Hoenn region. And when he's done with the Hoenn region, he hears of the battle frontier from a someone that understands what the battle frontier is, and he explains to Ash that this is almost like how you go somewhere to get to the next gym. However, this is not the case. Now, this is about getting to the next battle facility. The next battle facility. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, this is the battle frontier now. And then after the battle frontier, then I'm going back to other cities and towns of other regions. So, this is going to go a little different. So, I know for a fact I have ranked. The gems, the badges, the gym leaders, and now I'm in the cities and towns. But apparently, I already touched on the Kanto region, but because of the anime, because of Ash hearing out Scott, the person who tells Ash about the battle frontier, it seems about the battle frontier, they're hidden within Kanto. So here's how things are going to be different. So instead of ranking them just as what they are, this time it's the ultimate, ultimate best and liked location of the battle facilities. So I'm not going to be ranking whatsoever. This is about my preferences on what I think the best location is among the battle facilities. So, apparently last video when I done this, I got my facts all wrong. When I was talking about Saffron City being close to, well, the Battle Dome, Apparently, I got that one wrong. Apparently, the Battle Dome is south to Lavender Town. So, if you just head south, way down south from Lavender Town, you'll find the Battle Dome. So, before I discuss on my
personal favorite location of a battle facility, I want you to know this. So just like I did with the Paldea and the Galar region of how I would take my journey in the Galar region and in the Paldea region, I just found my region that I would want to live in should I be in the Pokemon world. It is the best. It is awesome. I would definitely want to live in Paldea. Who would have thought you would change the Pokemon centers to gas stations? Nice. Now you don't have to worry about gas in the Pokemon world. <laughs> nice. I like it. But even if you have a car, maybe there could be gas stations, but Paldea, I don't think that's the case. But if somehow in the anime and, well, if these two new protagonists, Liko and Roy, are in Paldea, they're just new to me. They're just new to me, but they just don't beat Ash Ketchum. The reason I said that is because, well, Ash Ketchum has a whole lot of meaning to me. So if you're wondering why I bring up Ash Ketchum every time in these videos I make, it's only because of, well, what now Ash Ketchum means to me right now. Even though, even though, I still have my first thoughts on him. Apparently he has a meaning now. Apparently he's growing on me. So, if Liko and Roy end up in Paldea, I just don't know if there could be gas stations. But I just like this new change in the games. But if Liko and Roy go to the Paldea region, and somehow they break the mold and what I like about the Paldea region and there's gas stations actually, then uh, <laughs> there goes my theory. But the point is, I just want to live in Paldea because of these Pokemon centers now. Gas stations, so cool. But anywho, So, I think it's time that I tell you of what I'll do now in Kanto. I never touched on this before in my other Kanto videos, but since we're like, well, in Kanto again because of the Battle Frontier, It's time to let you know the real truth about where the facilities are located now. That way you'll get the flow of what I'm talking about. In my journey, in Kanto, should I end up in the Pokemon world? Okay? So first, first things first. So you already know that I talked about firsthand of the Battle Factory. The Battle Factory's location? Near Cerulean City. The Battle Arena. Now this is where my head flopped. My head flopped on where the Battle Arena is. And I couldn't, couldn't remember. 
But apparently, the Battle Dome is like south of Lavender Town. Okay. But apparently, the Battle Arena is near Saffron. And like I said before, the Battle Dome is south of Lavender Town. The Battle Pike is near Fuchsia City. The Battle Palace is near Sea from Islands. And the Battle Tower? Well, here's how you must understand this. If you want to know the real place of where the Battle Tower is, the real battle tower in the anime is apparently close to Kramini in Tojo. I'm referencing the Tojo Falls, but this has a Kanto and Johto link. So this is what I said before. So if you travel what Ash did in the episode that Ash gone to Johto for, did we go down his path? Find the Tojo Falls, if you can. When you find the Tojo Falls, Tojo is definitely close to Kremini Town, but don't make it like you're going to Kremini. Make it look like you could head to Kamini, but you're not. But like I said before, do what Ash did, but find the Tojo Falls. Once you find the Tojo Falls, I'm thinking it will not be easier to find the Battle Tower now. Now since you understand where it's located. So, here's where this comes in. So before I tell you the best like of all of the locations of the battle facilities, like I said, this isn't about the rank. This is about if it has the best likes to me, just me, just me. But not the other people. But if you could hear me out, hear me out. This is just what's the best facility to me, okay? So, let's get to business. It's time for you to understand of how I would take my Kanto journey. When I would travel in the Kanto region, should this be true, and if I do end up in the anime, this is how I will definitely find these things. But I might get my hands full. Because what I talked about in the Hoenn video, I'm going to be all over the place in the cancer region. All over the place, the compass. Ooh! Now this is going to be an interesting compass. So, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking on the contests in the Kanto region. Apparently there are contests in Kanto as well as Hoenn. I'll be definitely challenging the gems and definitely taking on the Battle Frontier. 
And would I be a frontier head? Well, stay tuned until the end of the video of right now if I would want to be a frontier head. So, now to get to the real business. This is how I'll take my journey. So, yes, I would get my starter. in Pallet Town, and I would start off with Bulbasaur. I may be in over my head, okay, I admit it, in over my head with a Grass type, but I don't think Grass types can win against Fire types. But apparently Blaine has a Rhydon, so I'm definitely keeping Bulbasaur in because of that Rhydon, because of how it's super effective against Rhydon. But apparently I need more Pokemon. So, I think I would do what Ash did before he was getting to the Kanto League. He just was still where he is in Palatown, at his home, and he traveled to other places. And there was one place, one place that was close to the Seafoam Islands. And I say that's good. So I could go either or to find the Battle Palace or the Cinnabar Gym. But which one would I want to start off with? Well, apparently two right here. Apparently, the Cinnabar Gym is defunct. Because of what happened in season one, the gym is inaccessible. So that means I'm thinking I'm in right for the picking if I could decide either or if I could go to the Seafoam Islands or find the Battle Palace. I'm thinking of where I'm at. I would have to say I could just look for the Battle Palace, take on the Battle Palace, But definitely find some other Pokemon along the way just so that I could take on the Battle Palace among the Pokemon that were still out at the time of Hoenn Pokemon, Jota Pokemon, Kanto Pokemon if I wanted. I would rather stick with the Kanto Basics. So, I would just go for the original Pokemon right here, even though I would be cheating on Hoenn and Johto just because I was not in the Johto region or the Hoenn region. Yeah. I want to be legit in the Battle Frontier. So, once I find the Pokemon needed to take on The Battle Palace, I would take on the Battle Palace, challenge Spencer, and see if I can win two earn my first symbol. After that, then I would go to get to my first batch. Luckily, The Volcano Badge is at the Seafoam Islands. The 
new gem is at the sea from Malins. So, if I could find where the new gem is, hopefully I'm in luck and I could look for it. Then after that, I would want to get to Fuchsia City. And that's where I'm, I'm going to get my next badge. So I'm not going to be like in the ocean at first asking about getting these water types. Well, more like not asking about the water types, but just asking to make sure that I get to the sea from Mylands. Just the sea from Mylands, nothing else. I just want to spend the journey of how I want to see it, so yeah. That's the beginning part of my journey. So, now then. Now since I'm away from the water, I will be at Fuchsia City getting my second badge. And then I'll definitely earn my next symbol after that when I find the Battle Pike. So if I was in over my head, well, apparently that wouldn't be the case because of the water types. I'll just keep Bovisar at bay until Blaine brings out his ride on. Anywho, back on topic, now I can decide either or. So, Celadon City is kinda this away from Fuchsia, or I could just head to Lavender Town. But I need to pick the best spot of what is closer. And, it, and in retrospect, I think going this way is a lot more longer than you think. So I better go the other way. So I would definitely uh, head to Lavender Town. So I would definitely get my new symbol right there if I just head south. This is all compass references right here, okay? And then I'll let you know about when I'll get these likes in. So first, the compass talk. Of where I'm at, of the map. So, after being in Lavender Town, the next closest one would be Vermilion City. But it seems, oh wait. Yeah, I'll get my next badge there. So then I would go upward to Cerulean City I get my next badge after that. And then I'll locate the battle factory. And then I'll get my next symbol. Okay, so I talked about seafoam, fuchsia, Lavender. Uh huh. And then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I got it wrong. Yeah, I should head up. Because, well, it would be like um, Saffron City, actually. So my next badge would be like at Saffron City, and then I'll locate the battle arena. After that, then I would definitely head to Cerulean City, definitely still going up.
And then, I would find the battle factory after that. And then after finding the battle factory, I would want to make sure that I would head to this Kento, Johto, Tojo, mixed together of where the battle tower is. So that's my take on how I'll spend my Kento journey now. However, I didn't touch on the contests because there are actually five ribbons it takes to take on the Grand Festival. So, because I didn't talk about that, that's going to be a separate video. But if they're located, I'm going to have to look that up too and then give that and the final print of, of my journey of where these contests are in the Kanto region. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to take my journey. They're doing the contests. And then what I just mentioned in my journey. So right after I take care of this Kento Joto Tojo of where the battle tower is, then I would head to Viridian City That would be my second to last badge. Actually, check that. I'm kidding. Cerulean City, then Pewter City. And then I'll go down to Viridian. So, Pewter City would be the next. And then... The final badge is still the final badge. Normally in the games and anime, is the same thing, so. That can still be true, but I'm in a different. Way of. How I'm getting these. Badges and symbols and ribbons. The ribbons, for your information, will be in a separate video. But the Kento ribbons is the final print in what I'm talking about. But of what I'm not talking about the ribbons for, that's in a separate video. When I do. Anywho. Now. Since you heard everything what I said. It's time for you to understand. What is now. My best liked facility. Do I like the Battle Factory? Maybe a bit. Maybe a bit. Do I like the Battle Arena? Same reason, same reason. Do I like the Battle Dome? Um. I would say yes because of what I see in the Battle Dome, but outside the Battle Dome, not so much. So it's like yes and no at the same time. I 
I just like what I saw in that episode of Ash taking on Tucker. Who wouldn't want the spotlight? Who wouldn't want the spotlight? I do. Do I like the battle pike? No, duh. I do like it. Do I like... The Battle Palace. Yes, I like the Battle Palace. Do I like the Battle Tower? I'm sorry, not so much. But it's part of my Kanto journey. So there. So the Battle facilities I definitely like is the Battle Factory, the Battle Arena, the Battle Dome, the inside of it, the Battle Pike, and the Battle Palace. So, five. But apparently I'm going to do a little something different this time. Like I said, I'm not going to rank them. It's just on my opinions on the facilities is what I need to take into account. So do I really like what I do like, what I said I liked? Well, it's time for you to understand how I function, okay? It's just how I feel about them. Not that there's anything wrong about them, it's just how I feel about them. Of what I see about the Battle Palace, authentic and exotic, still in. But I'm not saying this just because I'm ranking them. It's just my preferences is what matters. My preferences only to the, only to the battle facilities, okay? So if you're saying, what well, I'm saying still in, or nope, it's because of where that preference on, if I like it mostly, okay? Of how higher liked is to me. So I may stop if I have three or two. I'm thinking two. Anywho. Yes. The Battle Palace is still in because of how exotic and authentic it is. The Battle Pike is still in because of that Viper. I didn't like the Viper. Who wouldn't like a Viper? Who wouldn't want a Viper on your team? Viper. The Battle Dome, I'm afraid not in. Well, to be honest here, I do want the spotlight. I do want the spotlight, but couldn't the Battle Dome be more classier, more blinged up, more aspiring? Just like it was inside. Of how you would attract many people to the Battle Dome. Yes. Yes, yes. So it lacked that. It lacked not being a true attraction.
so. That's why it's not in. Now what about the battle arena? Still in. The battle factory? Not in. Because you would have to decide what Pokemon you want to face. But I would definitely do what Ash did. Take on that Articuno. I would definitely have other Pokemon by then that are stronger than that Articuno. Just because it's an ice type. Well, it may be a legendary, but... It may be powerful, yes. But it would still have his weaknesses of the type. That's something to consider of when you take on the Battle Factory. So, it's just a free, easy win if you want to find the Pokemon that you can beat. I want to find a Pokemon that can beat that is worth my battle. And since that Articuno took Ash on hard, that's what I mean. That Articuno... It's definitely battle worthy. So, now I'm down to the three liked, the three liked facilities, the arena, the pike, and the palace. But would I want to keep it at three? Not really. So if I were to take one more out, I think the best ones of all, and then I'll wrap this up. The best ones of all is the Battle Palace because of his, it being exotic and authentic and the Battle Pike, because of that Viper. And there you have it. And that's the end of this video.